When participating in water-related activities, all children should be supervised by an adult. Always remember that a child can drown in water as shallow as one inch deep and in common areas like bathtubs and toilets. Any amount of water that covers the mouth and nose can be life-threatening. Okay, one, two, three. Baby, come here. Where's your tummy? Get back on your tummy. One. <laughs> One, two, three, up! I'm Louie. I train lifeguards and swim instructors for the American Red Cross. I teach that water readiness is one of the key components of drowning prevention. Since my little daughter Addie was born, I've been using all of my skills as a professional to make sure that she is water ready. Repetition and rhythm are two fundamental concepts of learning that will have a huge effect on your child's skill development. Now, the tendency with early learning is that we overlook the importance of repetition as a learning tool. As parents of small kids, it's easy to convince ourselves that when we're doing things over and over again and we're repeating ourselves constantly, that what we're trying to practice with our kid is not making much of a difference. Trying to get your kid, for example, to do good quality flutter kicks or any kind of kick can make us frustrated when done over and over again and then the kicks still look the same. Repetition, however, is the most important tool to early learning. You want to make sure that you practice the skill, and then you practice the skill, and then you practice the skill again. And then you should be happy with anything that you get. Try not to expect big improvements too quickly. A great way to monitor your repetitions and to give yourself and your water time a little bit of consistency for learning is to develop your swim songs. Flush, flush, flush. Round and round. A swim song is a great way to develop rhythm, which I will cover in more depth in a later video. But here is a quick explanation of basic rhythm and the way that we're talking about it. When a child becomes more advanced in their swimming, their front crawl or freestyle swimming has a smooth, crisp look to it. This smoothness comes from a rhythm in a dance the same way that a ballet dancer moves. The advanced stroke has three well-defined flutter kicks for every arm stroke. So it goes left arm kick, 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 right arm kick, 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 left arm kick, 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 right arm kick, 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 and it flows in sort of a waltz beat. For beginning swimmers and really little ones, that beat is pretty chaotic and all over the place. The child stumbles through the water and the movement is bouncy and clumsy. And you'll get kids that don't look very efficient in the water and they look like they're just kind of bouncing around and not really going very far. By combining repetition with a dance style rhythm, your child's swimming skills will develop into sort of a swim dance. Early singing adds to the rhythm of your child's movement as you practice and will keep it fun for your baby. So when you do kicking, for example, vocalizing the action with words can add rhythm simply by saying kick, 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 one, two, three, one, two, three, kick, kick, kick. The swim songs most importantly keep the activity fun and engaging. The more times you can get your baby to repeat any action, the better. And the more ways you can make it fun for them, the more repetition you're gonna get. Remember, practice, 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 patience, 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 and your kid will be swimming in no time. What? Oh, okay, we're just gonna let you go. <laughs> If you have any questions, please put them in the comments section below. Smart Aquatics was created to make the knowledge of water safety accessible to everyone. Please like this video, subscribe, and hit that notification bell to get updates on our latest videos. Don't forget to share, you could help us get the word out about safety and water readiness.